Today on The Joy of Editing, we're getting creative with the vignette filter found in Nick Color Effects, part of Nick Collection 7. Plus, I'll be announcing the Photolab 8 Elite contest winner. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm pulling out Nick Color Effects, and I want to look at the vignette filter. There's some really cool features in it that I think a lot of people do miss. Now, I did talk about this a couple years ago, but I think it's time to do another video about it because it is really cool, as you'll see here in a minute. Nick 7 Color Effects is part of the Nick Collection 7. If you don't yet have Nick Collection 7, click on my affiliate link in the description below. You could try a free trial or purchase the product. When you use my link, I make a small commission, and this helps to support the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Before I get started with the tutorial, let me announce the contest winner for DxO Photo Lab 8 Elite. By the way, thanks all of you who have entered the contest, and please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification icon. Click also that you'll receive all notifications, because who knows, in the future, I may be doing some more giveaways. So please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified of future videos and future giveaways. And the winner is... The Walking Photographer, 1979. <laughs> to claim your prize on the video you're watching right now or any of my videos on my YouTube channel, go to the video's description and click on More. Scroll down through and look for Contact Me. Click on that link, Contact Me. Leave your name, email address, and a message letting me know that you have won the contest. And then I will get back to you by email. And then I'll just need to verify that you are actually the walking photographer, 1979. And then I will send you a link to pick up your free copy of Photo Lab 8 Elite along with a promo code so you will not pay a penny for it and you're going to have seven days to contact me so don't delay on that contact me as soon as possible we'll go through a very quick verification process and then you'll get your free software and now let's jump into this video i won't keep you too long i have two different examples for you for this creative use of the vignette filter now this is just not a basic vignette i want to show you about I'm going to show you something really cool. So what we're going to do first is click on Nick 7 Color Effects. Now I'm using the Nick Collection 7 palette. If your palette isn't open, come up to the Photoshop menu, click on File, and then look for Automate, and then look for Nick Collection 7 palette. Click on that, and your palette will open up. And then just click on Nick 7 Color Effects, and it will launch Color Effects. And here we are inside of Nick 7 Color Effects. Now, the first thing I like to do is you see right here, convert to smart object. Just click that. It'll convert this into a smart object. That way, once you send this back to Photoshop, if you feel you need to come back into Nick Color Effects and tweak anything, you'll be able to do that. So that's really cool. Let's look at the left side of the interface. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And note, you have three vignette filters. You have a vignette filter, a vignette blur filter, and a vignette lens filter. Now, let me click on Vignette Lens. This is not the one I'm using, but I just want to show you something. This is a typical vignette filter, whereas, see how it's dark around the edges? And then if you take this amount and keep dragging it to the left, it gets darker and darker. But if you drag it to the center, there's no vignette at zero. But then when you drag it to the right, it starts to turn light, just like a typical vignette filter, which is fine for a basic vignette. I'm going to go ahead and click the X and get rid of this filter because I want to show you this one here called the vignette filter i wish they would have called this the color vignette filter because that i think is a better name for it let me go ahead and click the plus and let's take a look and see what we have see right here where it says shape this is a drop down you can have a circle shape you can have an oval shape a square shape and a shape that is also square but it adapts to edges here is the way this filter works. See where it says color right here? This is why I say they should call this a color vignette filter because right now we're using black. You see that? When I drag the opacity to the right, it gets darker and darker till it turns pure black. And then when I move it to the left, it'll get lighter and lighter. But here's where it really shines. 
Now, by the way, if I wanted to add just a basic dark vignette or a light vignette around the edges, I would not use this vignette filter. I would use the vignette lens filter. I think it's more appropriate for doing that type of a vignette. But note, right here where it says color, we have a picker and we also have a swatch right here. If I click on this black swatch, we get up a color tool and then we could come in here and right now it's on black. See, I could come in here and change this to any color I want. I'm going to click cancel for now because I'm going to show you something that I could do and that is take this picker by clicking on it and let's sample some of the pink from this flower. I'll click in this area and now I get this beautiful pink coloring around the image. Now I could come and take the opacity and pull it to the left and make it a little less pink. This is great for flower photography by the way. We can increase that depending how much you want here. Then note we have place center. So if we click right here, let's place the center right here in this flower. And then we can do things like adapt edges. So I'm going to take this adapt edge slider and drag it to the right. As I move it to the right, it really starts to aggressively grab edges. Now I have this beautiful glow over the entire image. We can adjust the transition. If I move this the whole way to the left, we have no transition. Move it to the right, we start to soften and we start to blend. So I could blend it. Let's go over to like 97%. We can adjust the size. I can make this larger, the vignette area like something like that. But I love the picker because we can harmonize the color that's already in the image into the vignette. But isn't that cool? I love this color vignette and you got to give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now we're back in Photoshop. Let me go ahead and shut this layer off. Here's before and here's after. But I have that nice dreamy pink vignette around the image, which I really like. And don't forget, I made this a smart object. So you could double click right here and send this back into Nick Color Effects and do some tweaking if needed. And now let me show you one more example, this image here, and I'll go a little quicker on this one. This is so simple to do and very effective. I'm going to go ahead and click on Nick 7 Color Effects again. And let me click right here to check on Convert to Smart Object, just in case I need to come back and retweak. I'll come to the left side of the interface down to the bottom and click on the plus for vignette filter. We have that dark vignette, which I don't want. I'm going to click on the picker and I want to sample this color in our hat, like right here. And that's not bad. It's a little dark for me. So I'm going to click on this button right here, this brown swatch or tan swatch. And I'll take this brightness slider and drag it to the left. Now I wish they would let you see this in real time, the color change here on the image, but we don't. So if you're listening, DXO, can you fix that? And now I'll click OK. And now that's lighter and I like that. Maybe too light. So I'm going to click here again. I'll drag the slider to the right to darken this a bit and click OK. I think that's better. Now, I think the effect is too strong, so I'm going to take the opacity and pull it back a little bit to somewhere right around there. And now let's look at the shapes here. Right now, we're on the oval shape. I'm going to hover over the circle shape. You know what? I think I like the circle shape the best, so I'll click here. And what I'll do is I'll adapt those edges. I'll drag this into the right just to kind of grab around her body a little bit. Not too much, maybe right about there. And maybe I'll adjust the size. I'll make it a little bit smaller. And I think maybe right like that. Isn't that cool? And now if I uncheck vignette filter, here's the before and here is the after. And I may pull back on this opacity a little bit more to right there. And I think that's it. And I'll click apply. That'll send us back into Photoshop. And here we are back in Photoshop. Let me shut this layer off. Here's before and here's after. Isn't that cool? This is such an easy filter to use, but it is oh so effective. And I hope you give it a try. Well, there it is, everyone. And congratulations again to The Walking Photographer 1979 for winning DxO Photo Lab 8 Elite. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.